at noon. It's Tuesday, the 22nd of February. Welcome to Holy Trinity Church on the first Tuesday, on the Tuesday of First Lent. Today we remember 500,000 who have died in this nation from the ravages of the coronavirus. We'll begin with an anthem from the burial right one. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer lives, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth, and though this body be destroyed, yet shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not as a stranger. For none of us lives to himself, and no man dies to himself. For if we live, we live unto the Lord, and if we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so, says the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. O God, whose mercies cannot be numbered, accept our prayers on behalf of 500,000 dead in this country and millions around the globe. Grant them an entrance into the land of light and joy in the fellowship of thy saints through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In our time of need and in the middle of the day, keep us thankful, true, and faithful. Psalm 48. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. In the city of God is his holy hill. Beautiful and lofty, the joy of all the earth is the hill of Zion, the very center of the world and the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He is known to be her true, sure refuge. Behold, the kings of the earth assembled, and march forward together. They looked and were astounded. They retreated and fled in terror. Trembling seized them there. They arrived like a woman in childbirth, like ships of the sea when the east wind shatters them. As we have heard, so have we seen. In the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, 
God has established her forever. We have waited in silence on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your praise, like your name, O God, reaches to the world's end. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion be glad and the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments. Make the circuit of Zion walk round about her Count the number of her towers. Consider well her bulwarks, examine her strongholds, that you may tell those who come after. This is our God, our God forever and ever. He shall be our guide forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Reading from chapter 3 of the letter to the Hebrews. Therefore, brothers and sisters, holy partners in the heavenly calling, consider that Jesus the Apostle and High Priest of our confession was faithful to the one who appointed him, just as Moses also was faithful in all God's house. Yet Jesus is worthy of more glory than Moses, just as the builder of a house has more honor than the house itself. For every house is built by someone, but the builder of all things is God. Now Moses was faithful in all God's house as a servant to testify to the things that would be spoken later. Christ, however, was faithful over God's house as a son, and we are his house if we hold firm the confidence and the pride that belong to hope. Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion as on the day of testing in the wilderness, where your ancestors put me to the test, though they had seen my works for forty years. Therefore, I was angry with that generation, and I said, they always go astray in their hearts, and they have not known my ways, and in my anger I swore they shall not enter my rest. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Holy God, holy and mighty, Holy Immortal One, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. 
Let us be a loving family serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own holy family in God. Let us be examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all who are returning to school and work. Watch over all elders and the brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in a time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. Please join me now in offering prayers and intercessions for those in our hearts and minds. We pray for comfort for Johanna. We give thanks for a successful surgery and pray for a quick healing for Julie and for Jay. We pray for direction Carol, we pray for a new life, a life that's happy, joyous, and free for our new friend, Chelsea. We give thanks for our sisters who were lost and have been found, for our brothers as well. Pray for relief from the ravages of the coronavirus, giving thanks for the rapid deployment of the injections, which will help it to come under control. We pray for safety for all those who await that medication, who await the passing of the virus we have received as well. We pray for the whole world, Lord, for there will be no safety until all nations have been reached with a cure. Almighty and everlasting God, we yield unto thee most high praise and hearty thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all your saints, who have been the choice vessels of your grace and the lights of the world in their several generations, most humbly beseeching you to give us grace, so to follow the example of their steadfastness in thy faith and obedience to thy holy commandments, that at the day of the general resurrection, we with all those who are of the mystical body of thy Son may be set on his right hand and hear his most joyful words. 
Come, ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom, the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Grant this, O Father, for the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. We remember today Polycarp, Bishop of Smyrna, who was martyred on this day in the year 156. O God, the maker of heaven and earth, you gave your venerable servant the holy and gentle Polycarp boldness to confess Jesus Christ as King and Savior and the steadfastness to die for his faith. Give us grace, following his example, to share the cup of Christ and rise to eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May we never walk in solitude or fear, but the fellowship of the Spirit warm our hearts. The love of the Savior bring us joy and the shelter of the Father's arms forever keep us safe. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you and keep you. And may we walk in the way of the cross each hour of this day. Amen. Thank you.